And now, guys, we got Minecraft Bedrock Beta 1.11.0.7 out now. Let's go over the changelog together over a few cool kind of things here. We're on Windows 10 today, something unique. It's not out on Xbox yet. Hey there, guys, Skippy here for Room Skippy 6 Gaming. Guys, coming to you from the Bedrock Beta 1.11.0. Seven. Guys, we are doing it on Windows 10 today because for some reason it is kind of uh, behind or not working properly or not out on Xbox yet. So we are just going to jump over here to Windows 10 where we can show all of the stuff that goes on. Guys, for this one here, let's go for 371 likes. If you are one of those dudes, don't forget to hit me up below. So I have already kicked in the bad omen here and every time I come near the village I'm waiting to see all of these pillagers kind of you know like start rushing me somewhere around here I think it's gonna happen soon and uh, yeah But we're gonna deal with that because that's one of the biggest features here is they've kind of added some new things for uh, Bad omen and hero of the village and uh, yeah in addition to that there might be something that we want to see when these pillagers get here And uh, oh, they're already here kicking some butt. Oh my goodness. So Let's go through the changelog. I'm going to back up a little bit. Hopefully we can put these guys out of render distance and we can go over exactly what the change is. So uh, let's go over here. There we go. Let's just black it out because I think they're all going to be dead by the time we get there. But hey, that's okay too. So change log starting with this guy right here. 1.11.0.7 Xbox One, Windows 10 and Android. So like I said, guys, I'm on Windows 10 right now. It's not out for Xbox yet. So uh March 20th so here we go do not open your beta worlds outside if you need to use the beta there's a video in the description below that will show you how to get into the beta edition of Minecraft uh, whether you're on uh, Xbox one Windows 10 or Android and uh, yeah don't open your worlds in there because it would be very bad for your worlds you will not like it so new feature when choosing a skin from a skin pack the selected skin will now roam between bedrock devices using the same account this does not mean that you the skin you see on my screen right now is my personal skin. It will not. It has to be from a skin pack. Guys, people on Xbox are going to be like, oh, I can use my skin. Not in the same way. You have to use it from a skin pack. So, uh... Add sweet new animation pop-ups when acquiring Bad Omen and Hero of the Village. Right-clicking on trade will now auto-trade items. That's pretty cool. Revamped crafting recipes for cartography table, smithing table, and fletching table. So... A message will now display if a raid expires after two in-game days. Vindicators can now break doors during raids. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully we get to see some of that. I'm thinking we might be able to get to see some of that. But let's keep going, guys. Fixes. Fix several crashes that occur during gameplay. How new is that? That's what they say every time. Fix the crash that could occur when stepping into the nether portal at the same time as a phantom. Guys, these phantoms have been messing things up in Bedrock. Oh my god, when they go in a nether portal, you're in big trouble. An evocation fang without an owner no longer crashes the game when it tries to deal damage. Downloading missing resource packs when creating a new world no longer makes the game unresponsive. Improved performance on the villager trading screen. We'll check that one out. General fixed a lot of accessibility features and text-to-speech issues. Disabling the multiplayer game setting will now apply when the world is packaged as a world template. Fixed players falling through the blocks at around 65k blocks on the X or Z axis. Raid loading no longer cancelled if the player saves and quits. Ringing a bell will no longer lock players out of trading with villagers. Mobs, guys. Reduce the range of drowned attacking the nearest player. They do go pretty far. Villager heads no longer clip through walls while sleeping. Not sure how they felt. Hopefully better now. Okay, yeah, we don't want that. Adjusted some incorrect prices for villager trades. Patrols can no longer stack up in the same spawn area. Patrols now avoid spawning near places if they are near a village. Villagers no longer lose their job site association with smokers and blast furnaces while they are smelting. Ravagers now move faster when moving into villages during raids. Ravagers could no longer deal damage to villagers and other mobs from behind walls. Pillagers can now spawn inside the pillager outpost structure. So one more. We got one more here. I'm pretty sure it's one more. Yep, yeah, only one more. Let's do here blocks fixed particles not appearing while mining blocks cobblestone slabs are no longer slabs and blocks at the same time <clears throat> There's a little uh, clear my let me clear my throat Lingering potions are no longer caused bells to repeatedly ring composters can no longer drop endless amounts of bone meal when pushed by pistons That would be a bad glitch uh, fixed some items having invisible bits when placed in item frames Damage tools can once again be smelted to recover gold, iron ingots, 
cacti can once again be smelted into green dye. User interface updated the how to play page on scaffolding to show the change of length of scaffolds. Add on script engine fixed inconsistent spawn eggs for villagers and zombie villagers for template worlds that require the original entities. Fixed pivot point changes to Enderman made with add ons. So, guys, here we are in the game. I'm gonna just, uh, we're gonna go over here. Basically, the one thing we're gonna see is let's just check out, uh, let's just do. Look at that. I don't play Windows 10 very often, so this is a little bit of a, a masterful for me, but I think it's pretty much the same as it's like a mix of Java and. Uh, yeah, so we want to check out the villager AI, and we want to check out the effects of Hero of the Village and Bad Omen. We're going to hear a little bit of da -da -da -da. and then the other thing I want to do is I just want to see if I, I want to I want a Vindicator kick a door down. That's all I really want. So in addition to that, let's go ahead and just grab a sword, and then let's kill some pillagers, and maybe we could just auto give, because in my testing, I didn't actually get Hero of the Village. Uh, by giving me the effect if I did it didn't actually do anything like it didn't give any sort of effect when they said that to me I was pretty much oh 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 okay so let's try this guy right here let's see what he's doing okay so I guess hero of the village will go through we're gonna actually manually try to give the effects here let's just do these guys Let's do this. Let's find some villagers to trade with. Actually, before we let this get too out of control, let's go ahead and hop in here. I think the raids are kind of wonky the way they work. Let's go in here and let's check out this uh, villager AI. So, so I think maybe they're broken that they don't trade with you. They don't trade with you while there's a raid going on. So, you know what we're going to do is... Let's find ourselves a new village so that we can start from scratch. I'm going to time lapse this. Uh, let's do this. Uh, slash TP. Let's do 10,000. Space. Tilde. Space. Tilde. Go. And then once we do this, what we're going to do is... Oh, how, how awesome is that? Wow. We landed right on a village. So as you can see, we do have some of those smoking particles going from the campfire here. We should be able to trade with villagers now. Let's check out this UI. Uh, this is pretty weird. You see that weird one here? Let's go down here and trade with this guy and check out some UI fixes going on. Yeah. Oh, he's like, hey, bro. Oh, he's got the good stuff. This guy's got a good trade, eh? So I think that what they've done is group this along. I feel super weird. I don't know how he already has levels because I've already, I just went here. I never traded with him, so. So. I think basically we got to trade this and a book. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some books and let's do it because basically we just wanted to see the UI. And then what, what I can show you too is basically I saw the image that they were talking about basically uh for <clears throat> i saw the image they were talking about so let's go here and trade we got our books and everything bang there we go blast protection he moves up so technically he's gonna have to go back to a workstation let's let's keep going on here is the long story short of the other one is when the raid starts so let's go ahead when i gave myself when i gave myself bad omen so i can see that there's no pillager outpost here you're gonna see it gives you kind of a ring-a-ding effect like there's rings around you kind of like a potion effect which it didn't do before so watch slash effect at self bad omen so you can see right there so now we're gonna see the bad omen is here and as I get closer if I do this right here, you could see it has like this weird kind of, yeah, like this weird kind of effect going around me. I'm not sure how I didn't start an actual raid yet. I think I have to give maybe an upgraded level. Let's do slash effect at self hero, uh, village hero. So village. And you can see now I'm village hero, uh, but it doesn't actually give me that same effect. You can see right here, basically, 
I don't see any effect around me like to that degree you know what I mean so I think that's kind of weird I think they're probably working on it I'm pretty sure if I give myself bad omen while I'm hanging out right here wow that's pretty magical what's going on right there let's do a slash effect bad oh hold on slash effect at self B tab space enter and there you go so you can see the raid is starting so yeah they're like oh dang skip it what to do what to do so let's see if we can't convince a vindicator to kick a door in that's pretty much the last thing that we want to do here is so let's see which way they're coming from oh my gosh they're just right there they're like yo skip it we're coming so here <clears throat> I don't know if you can add a, a Vindicator in to a raid. I feel like it has to spawn naturally in its place, but... Oh, these, this Iron Golem is in big trouble. Do it, do it, Iron Golem. I think we'll probably leave it at that, guys. Don't forget to smash that like before you go. Don't forget as well. I hope you, We're going to watch this guy. Oh, the Vindicator's coming in. I think the Iron Golem can do it. Is he going to... Oh, I feel sad for him. He tried so hard. And there you go, guys. Don't forget to smash that like before you go. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for, uh, yeah, cool tutorials, let's plays, and stuff. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.